Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer. Uh, this is the uh, Tuesday, Tuesday of the fourth week of Lent. Uh, and uh, our readings today both invoke the power of healing water. And uh, we see in our first reading from Ezekiel, the angel of the Lord guiding Ezekiel and bringing him to the temple gate. And he's at the, the west gate facing east. And, and there's a trickle of water coming out from under the, the door, the entrance uh, of the gate of the temple and trickling down. And then the angel takes him out, says a thousand cubits. And when he gets there, he, the angel asks him to, to wade in the water. And it's ankle deep. And then they go another thousand cubits away, and the angel asks them again to wade in the water, and it was knee deep, and then another thousand cubits, and it was, you know, up to his chest, and then after that, it was unwadeable. You had to swim to get to the other side, and the angel asked him to sit down, and he looked around, and he saw on both shores of this river that started from a trickle coming out from the temple. And on either shore, there were this lush vegetation, fruits growing, fruit trees uh, for food, the leaves for medicine, the waters teeming with uh, fish. Everything thrived in this water that came from the side of the temple. And... Uh, it's just that's a, an amazing thought to see that it, you know, in a spiritual sense, you know, the 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 grace that comes forth from God grows and grows and grows and does so much. And it's just just that drop from God, and it just magnifies and improves everything that comes in touch with it. And it grows and grows as it goes. And it's just it's, it's an amazing, uh, something amazing to, to sit and ponder and think about how the gifts that God give us gives us grow and grow within our hearts. And our lives are made so much better by every little drop of grace that we receive. And then our gospel from John, Jesus is at in a town there, I believe, was it, yeah, it was in Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem, they have a, a pool, and it was called Bethesda. Now, it's, the, the, the name of the pool is it's really awesome to think about the name of it. Uh, in Hebrew, well, I've known for a long time, this is something I've just learned, but in Hebrew, um, Beth means house okay so it's the house of so we we, see, we look at Bethlehem and uh, known that Bethlehem translated is the house of bread the bread of life Jesus born in the house of bread Bethlehem well here's this pool in uh, Jerusalem called Beth Bethesda and the word Bethesda, translated from the Hebrew, means house of mercy. So here's a crippled man. He's been crippled for a long time. And Jesus sees him and he goes up to him and he says, Don't you want to be well? Or do you want to be well? And the guy doesn't say, Sure, I want to be well. He comes up with an excuse. Well, I can't because every time I try to get into the pool, Somebody gets there ahead of me and I can't get in. And so he, he offers an excuse. That, you know, does, does that sound like us sometimes? You know, Jesus asks us, well, don't you want to be well? You know, don't you want to go to confession and, and be healed of all your sins? You know, and we, we make excuses, don't we? But so here's this guy coming up with an excuse, you know. And, but Jesus doesn't give up on the guy. He just tells him to uh, take up his mat 
and walk. Apparently these waters in this house of mercy, Bethesda, had healing properties when they were stirred up. So people would jump in there when the waters were stirred up and uh, a lot of healings took place in the house of mercy. So anyway, Jesus doesn't even employ that water. He just tells the guy, get up, pick up your mat and go. And immediately the man was healed. Now, we think about mercy, right? And we think about divine mercy. And Jesus, when he died on the cross, his side, side was pierced with the lance and immediately blood and water flowed from his side. The fountain of mercy. So here's the fountain of mercy. Jesus himself coming to the man doesn't need to employ water because he's the source of that water. And he just uses his words. The words of God effect things. He says, be well. And he was well. So we have this beautiful healing of the man who you know, couldn't make an excuse anymore. Jesus came to him and offered him wellness. And uh, he accepted that. So it's wonderful. So I hope that we too, in our lives, when we hear Jesus say, Don't, do you want to be well? We say yes. And allow the living water, the springs welling up from the side of Jesus to wash over us and heal us of all of our weaknesses and sinfulness so that we can draw closer to him and his heavenly father through the power of the Holy Spirit and this water. Help us to, I'm sorry, the doorbell rang. Now I've got noise. Time out for a moment. Let me... Okay, I'm, I'm good. Ami took care of it. <laughs> Sorry. As I was saying, in our lives, we just need to accept the invitation to be well. Go to the sacraments, especially during Lent, Sacrament of Reconciliation. Receive the Eucharist. You know, all this, these gifts that, Jesus, that God gives us to be well. All we have to do is say, I want to be well. Let's pray that this healing presence of God in our lives washes over us and makes us well. Let us pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept, remembering Zion and the poplars that grew there. We hung up our harps, for it was there that they asked us, our captors, for songs, our oppressors, for joy. Sing to us, they said, one of Zion's songs. Oh, how could we sing the song of the Lord on alien soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth if I remember you not. If I prize not Jerusalem above all my joys. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, remember your pilgrim church. We sit weeping at the streams of Babylon. Do not let us be drawn into the current of the passing world, but free us from every evil and raise our thoughts to the heavenly Jerusalem. If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. In the presence of the angels, I will sing to you, my God. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. 
You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. All earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly, and the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Listen to the prayers of your church, Lord God. In the presence of the angels, we praise your name. You keep the proud at a distance and look upon the lowly with favor. Stretch out your hand to us in our suffering. Perfect in us the work of your love and bring us to life. In the presence of the angels, I will sing to you, my God. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers, what good is it to profess faith without practicing it? Such faith has no power to save one, has it? So it is with faith that does nothing in practice. It is thoroughly lifeless. Show me faith without works, and I will show you the faith that underlies my works. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Now that you are well again, do not sin any more, or something worse may happen to you. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now that you are well again, do not sin any more, or something worse may happen to you. Let us praise the Lord Jesus, who lifted high on the cross, drew all things to himself. With loving hearts, let us pray. Draw all things to yourself, O Lord. Lord, may the mystery of your cross shine on all mankind, that all may see you as the way, the truth, and the life. 
Draw all things to yourself, O Lord. May all who thirst for you, the living water, drink their fill forever. Draw all things to yourself, O Lord. Inspire all teachers and artists to prepare mankind for your kingdom. Draw all things to yourself, O Lord. Guide all estranged from you by sin or scandal, that they may come back to you and remain always in your love. Draw all things to yourself, O Lord. Welcome all our deceased brothers and sisters to your home in heaven to share the joy of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. Draw all things to yourself, O Lord. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, may our Lenten observance prepare us to embrace the Paschal mystery and to proclaim your salvation with joyful praise. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone, and uh, see you all tomorrow.